Good afternoon, uh, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. Um, speaking on behalf of the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security in Southern Sudan, together with uh, my colleagues. Uh, we have started our journey, like all other countries, uh, in 2021. Next slide, please. Yes, we started like all other countries in the, in the globe uh, in our journey towards food system transformation. And uh, 2021, we were able to identify uh, the food system outcomes in the country and what are the key drivers that influence the food system and the opportunities that we have in the countries to support our efforts towards food system transformation. So this is just a slide to show you that we have started the process like any other country. Next slide. Yeah, one of the food uh, system outcomes that has been identified is, is actually uh, the food insecurity in the country. Uh, the trend, as you can see from the slides, there is a persistent kind of food insecurity and it's even increasing. So this indicates that we need to double our effort in order to transform our food system uh, towards sustainable and resilient food system in the country. Move next slide, please. Yeah, we, we have uh, conducted a very inclusive uh, and participatory dialogue in 2021, in which we actually uh, discuss, talk to the farmers associations, private sector, civil society, academia, government policy makers, all of them were actually brought on board to be able now to identify key issues that are affecting our food system. So the dialogue has been very instrumental in bringing out the key issues that we are now working on them to transform the food system. And we wanted to come up with the pathways and the framework for transforming our food system. Next slide. Now, what is happening uh, at the national and at the state level? At the national level, as we have said, the dialogue has already identified the key priority areas that we need to dwell on. And we are happy that the government is now owning the process. And they are actually committing uh, resources and committing capacities to transform our food system. And uh, of course, as we, we have started with building the seed system resilience with the support of the University of Wageningen and University of Juba uh, to make things move. We are not wanting to stay until we wanted to start the process. As well as we have also, with the support of FAO, Repro, and, 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 and name them, all of them came together actually to address the, to the issues of regional masters in, in uh, disaster risk management and food system transformation at the University of Juba. So we wanted to start with a program to build the capacity of of people in the country so that the issues of the food system transformation will be dealt with professionally. Uh, then at the state level, we have already uh, developed the vision for how to move the, the food system transformation at the state level. We had dialogue at three states and we have completed them. Now we have the report to share. We have also developed the action plans and the call to action. So next slide, please. Uh, the opportunities are available in the country. Uh, the, one of the opportunities is actually try to build up uh, the, 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 the stakeholders and coordination so that we can work together. Uh, also, the thinking now is geared towards food system transformation programming framework. Previously, of course, people don't understand it, but now people are, we are gaining momentum and you will see that we, people are now willing to transition for a humanitarian uh assistance to actual development the challenges are also many uh, some of them we have shared them on the slides we have uh, so many challenges that we need to address while we are actually uh, developing policies and action plans to transform our food system and the donors are now willing also to come on board to support the effort of the government towards the food system transformation next slide please now, this is the most important one. You see, there's a key created and locally owned food system resilient visions and agenda at the state level. We are targeting the states 
because this is where the, the problems uh, are, are found. So the states now are actually willing and they have expressed strong readiness to work with all the donors and the stakeholders in order to build up the food system resilience. So the visuals and the action plans has been developed at one of the states and we'll be moving to another two states to make things happening. So the buy-in by even the state governments and the local governments are actually coming on board. So we are gathering momentum so that we'll be able to develop and build up strong governance system for the food system transformation. Uh, what we lack is actually clear policies are not yet developed, although we are starting to develop clear policies and also we are uh, working towards uh, land tenure right and responsible agriculture investment. We want also to start TVET programs, community-based seed multiplications. All these ones are actually part of our thinking and our engagements towards the food system transformation. Next slide, please. Yes, what do we expect uh, as, as our participation in the stake-taking uh, moment? at the United Nations. We are actually wanted to be exposed and learn from the experience of the countries who are actually moving ahead of us so that we can be able to share our information and learn good lessons from those forums because we are in the context of protracted food crisis and this context is very unique. We also wanted to share with other uh, countries our context and how we can work together. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that we have clear evidences so that we can build our programs for the food system transformation that are actually building uh, the momentum in the country. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that uh, the issues of the human uh, resource development, the issues of uh, humanitarian assistance is reduced so that we'll be able to build a very positive and a strong uh, system in the country. Uh, the last point is uh, uh, from IPC, uh, we have noticed that uh, most of the country is in IPC four and IPC five. So all the efforts are now, the country is now moved towards uh, supporting the life of the people who are in those kind of situations. But we want to move there through the food system transformation. That's why we are trying to build strength and wanted to make things move with the partnership that we have got from the, the University of Wageningen, the University of Cuba, and other uh, partners that want, want to work with us. Next slide. So I wanted to thank you very much for this. And uh, we, we look forward to, to participate with you in the next uh, forums. Thank you very much.